the power to make society better does lie in technological pro process, progress excuse me, that we control. And I'm fans of a, of a guy who wrote, his name is John Perry Barlow, who wrote A Declaration of Independence of Cyberspace. And he, this is early, this is 20 years ago, and he said that the internet promised a world where anyone, uh, anyone anywhere can express his or her beliefs, no matter how singular, without fear of being coerced into silence or conformity. Well, boy, did that happen, right? Boy, did it happen, and it happened really well. So what happened was, we realized this promise. What happened is, everyone got a mobile phone, and they got unhappy, they got motivated, they got empowered, and things changed. That is today's narrative, right? It's not a bad narrative, but that's what happened, right? Everybody got connected, and boom, all of a sudden, they became concerned about oppression of themselves, activities of their governments, lack of freedom, or self-interest. And in some cases, it was used very badly. So being granted access to ideas that you didn't know before is a tremendous drug, right? And I've traveled around the world visiting with people who all of a sudden knew that something was happening that they had never heard before. And we take this for granted in the West. The majority of people don't live in the, in the first world. They live in the developing world. And for them, this is an extraordinary and in many ways jarring shift.